Hello and welcome to Throttle Controlled Avionics introduction video. Today I will try to show you a few examples of what TCA can do. And let's start with a really ugly VTOL build. As you can see, it's totally unbalanced. Front and top engines are not even aligned, and the center of thrust is not nearly at the center of mass. It's a mess. Let's see how it performs without any stabilization. Not so good. Now let's enable SAS. Unfortunately, the ship has only a small reaction wheel inside the prop core, so... No big difference. Finally, let's enable TCA. But leave the SAS disabled for a time. Now I will enable SAS to stabilize flight against aerodynamic forces. Now let's disable engines. As you can see, all stabilization is based on engine thrust. No thrust, no stabilization. And now, now let's disable TCA in flight. Oh, looks like we're gonna crash. But wait, let's see if TCA can stabilize the ship. Neat. Okay. Let's move on. Now let's try the vertical speed control system. You can set the desired vertical speed using the slider. Let's see what it does. Now we flying slowly upwards. But lowering the set point allows us to hover. Note the thrust limiter slider. That's how TCA does its work. Lowering the set point to approximately 0 meters per second and below allows us to land. Now, how about landing on that helicopter pad on top of the VAB? Let's move up a little faster.
Now, notice how the vertical speed control ensures that the ship keeps its vertical speed despite any rotations. Landing is still the hard part. Steady. And lower, lower. Steady. Steady. And done. See how the engines cut all themselves? That's the part of the vertical speed control system. And now, yet another demonstration of the vertical speed control system fast horizontal flight with maneuvering. Enjoy.
I hope the roof will hold. So, thank you for watching and enjoy your flight with TCA!